Let's do business now. I'm Beverly Broom. Now, UK-based Economic Intelligence Unit is projecting the city to depreciate by about 22% to the dollar next year. Now, this will rank Ghana as having the third weakest performing currency on the African continent, according to EU's uh, Africa Outlook 2023 report. The Ghana city has so far lost a little over 27 percent in value since the beginning of the year. After registering one of its worst performance in the first 11 months of 2022, it's however improved in value strongly after the staff level agreement between the International Monetary Fund and the government was announced at the beginning of this month. But UK-based EIU expects the exchange rate weakness to continue into 2023, albeit to a lesser degree. It's maintained that the currencies of the troubled state of Sudan and Zimbabwe will be among the weakest in the world during 2023, while Ghana, Malawi, Sierra Leone, Ethiopia, and Egypt, which will all suffer from elevated rate of inflation, will see their currencies depreciate by more than 10% against the US dollar. It further said that African powerhouses of Nigeria, South Africa, Angola, Algeria, and Kenya will not be exempted from the currency weakness and will experience further depreciation of their currencies against the US dollar in 2023. Meanwhile, the Zambian Kwacha will continue its performance as African best performing currency in 2023. Now, economic analyst at Data Bank, Kweku Akokumsin, has stated that the Ghana city would see some stability in 2023. He was reacting to the prediction of the UK-based Economic Intelligence Unit of a further 22% 20, 20, depreciation of the city to the dollar. Now, according to him, advancing the value chain of commodities that the country exports will help stabilize the city in 2023. I believe that... Um as much as possible, um, we are also we are also trying to put in place measures as much as possible to reduce the strain on our currency. Right? So, you we recently had the vice president um, talk about a good for butter um, a good for butter option a, a good for oil butter mm. um, option for uh, us selling unrefined gold for refined petroleum. We believe this move is uh, FX preserving, as well as um, looking at a possible deal. And all, all, all our analysis or all our foresight will be much predicated on us securing a board level and a management level deal in, the, in 2023, preferably in the first half, or if you have been very optimistic around the first quarter of 2023. With that, it, it's more likely that we see the city still maintain some stability and not endure so much depreciation, you see. And, and looking at the good for oil butter thing, like I said earlier, it's also a bit FX preserving. Mm -hmm. Now, to maintain such that stability, that's also predicated on us um, uh, looking more at the import substitution that we've been trying to um, build up on. Right, to internalize most of our production, or as much as possible to advance on the value chain in the commodities that we export. With that, I believe we may see more sustained performance on the Ghana city. Away from that, producers of GTP, Woodin and Vlisco brands of textiles have begun affixing tax stamps on their fabrics before distributing to the markets. Now, this is in anticipation of the 2023 deadline given by the Ministry of Trade and Industry for all fabrics to be affixed with the stamps or confiscated by March next year. The policy, which aims to deal with challenges of piracy and smuggling of materials, was launched earlier this year in consultation with stakeholders. Now, Director of Marketing at Textiles Ghana, Emmanuel Deborah, told Joy Business this is another sure way of getting traders to sensitize on the new policy before it takes off. Yeah, so the tax stamp, yes, it's been launched by the Minister of Trade, who was really, I mean, helpful. We've engaged both local and then importers. Uh, so we have started effective uh, October. Every fabric living at our company here has the tax stamp on it. We are hoping that from January, we'll also make sure that we help our customers in the trade request for the transitional stamps 
to ensure that they, all the fabrics we have in the trade also have the transitional stamps in there. Then effective March 2023, that's when, according to the minister, there will be the tax force that will be in the trade to ensure that whichever fabric, African fabric that is in the trade without the tax stamp then will be confiscated. And so for us, we want the public to know that from next year, if you, are, you go to the trade and you are going to buy any fabric, you should look out for the tax stamp in there. And then also because it, our designs, we have our design numbers and on the label and then on the salvage, these are some of the things that we want to, to ensure that at least for every fabric that you buy, you have, you have the design number on the label and then also on the salvage. Then you look out for the tax stamp as well. I can tell you that if you get any fabric, I mean, out of about 10 fabric that you see in the trade, basically about seven or so of them will be, I mean, uh, a copy or a fake, I mean, uh, EDAP, DTP, any of our brands. And so this is how serious it is, which means that a lot of people buy GTP without knowing that they're actually buying the fake GTP. So that's why we want the tax stamp yes to come and the tax force to be able to sustain. So for business, we have more business when you log on to myjoyonline.com forward slash business. My name is Beverly Broom. Have a good evening.